Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this 4 to 1 marks and we have been asked to find the function which is implemented by the given multiplexer. So here, these 4 to 1 marks has 4 data lines and 2 selection lines. And based on the inputs at the selection line, any one of the 4 data line will get selected. Apart from that, here we also have one enable input. So let us find out the function which is implemented by this given multiplexer. So on the recent video on the multiplexer, we have seen that for these 4 to 1 marks, this is the boolean expression of the output. That means based on the selection inputs, any one of the 4 input will get selected. But in this case, we also have one enable signal. And here, this enable signal is the active high. That means whenever this enable signal is high, then this 4 to 1 marks will get enabled. So if you also include the enable signal in this expression, then the overall expression will look like this. That means whenever this enable signal is high, then this 4 to 1 marks will get enabled. So in this case, if you see, then this i0 is equal to i1 is equal to x. Likewise, this i2 is equal to y and this i3 is equal to y dash. And the same signal is also given to the S1. That means this S1 is also equal to Y bar. And this S0 is equal to Z. And since the enable signal is given through the NOT gate, that means this E is equal to Z bar. So now, let us put all these values in this expression. That means now, this function F is equal to S1 bar dot S0 bar dot I0. So here, since S1 is equal to Y bar, so this S1 bar is equal to Y and this S0 is equal to Z. That means here we will have this Y dot Z bar dot I0 and this I0 is equal to X. Similarly, for the second term, this S1 bar is equal to once again Y and this S0 is equal to Z and this I1 is once again is equal to X. Likewise, in the third term, we will have this y bar dot z bar dot i2 and here this i2 is equal to y. Likewise, in the last term, we will have this y bar dot z dot i3 and this i3 is equal to y bar. So in this way, we got the four terms and it will get multiplied with the enable signal. That means here, it will get multiplied with the z bar. So here if you see, then this y dot y bar is equal to 0. That means this term will get cancelled out. So now we will have this x dot y dot z bar plus x y z plus y bar dot z and that will get multiplied with the z bar. So now if we multiply this z bar with all the terms then we will have this x dot y dot z bar plus x y z dot z bar plus y bar dot z dot z bar and as you know this z dot z bar is equal to 0 that means now these two terms will become 0 and eventually we will have this x dot y dot z bar that means the given function is equal to x dot y dot z bar or we can say that the function which is implemented by this given multiplexer circuit is equal to x dot y dot z bar and therefore, for the given question, this A is the correct answer. Alright, so now let us move to the next example. So in this question, we have been given that one multiplexer and one inverter is allowed to implement the boolean function with n variables. So here, we have been asked to find the minimum size of the multiplexer which is required to implement this n variable function. So in the recent video of the multiplexer, we have already discussed that. And we have seen that if you want to implement the n variable function, then it can be implemented with the multiplexer which has n minus 1 selection lines. For example, if you want to implement any three variable boolean function, then it can be implemented with the multiplexer which has two selection lines. Or in other words, it can be implemented with the four cross one marks. So in this method, starting from the MSB, the first two variables are connected to the selection line and the one variable and its complement is given to the data line. So in that video, 
we have already covered one example. So for example, if we have this three variable boolean function, then it can be implemented with the four cross one marks. So as you can see, here the first two variables a and b are connected to the two selection lines. And this variable c and its complements are given to the data line. So with this method, if we want to implement any three variable boolean function, then we also required one inverter. Because here, to generate the complement of this variable c, we required the inverter. So in short, if we have a multiplexer along with the inverter, then we can implement the n variable boolean function using the multiplexer which has n minus 1 selection line. Or in other words, we can say that we can implement the n variable boolean function with 2 to the power n minus 1 to 1 multiplexer. So from this we can say that for the given question, this b is the correct answer. So now let us move to the next example. So this next question is also very similar to the earlier question. So in this question we have been given that without using any additional circuitry using the 8 to 1 marks, which of the following boolean functions we can implement. So as you know, this 8 to 1 marks has the 3 selection lines. So if we apply the 3 variables to the 3 selection lines, then each input represents the particular main term. And by connecting each data line to either 0 or 1, we can select the particular main term. That means using this 8 to 1 marks, we can implement all the functions with the 3 variables. And in fact, in the earlier video of the multiplexer, we have already seen the similar question. So for example, if you want to implement this boolean function with the 3 variables, then the 3 variables are connected to the selection line. And based on the main terms, we can connect the inputs to the data line. So in this case, to get the main terms m0, m2, m3 and m7, the data lines d0, d2, d3 and d7 are connected to the logic 1, while the remaining data lines are connected to the 0. So in this way, using the 8 to 1 marks, we can implement all the functions with the 3 variables. But now let us see whether we can implement all the boolean functions with the 4 variables. So of course, as I said in the previous question, Suppose we have an inverter along with the multiplexer, then we can implement the n variable boolean function using the multiplexer which has the n minus 1 selection lines. So along with the multiplexer, suppose we have an inverter, then using the same 8 to 1 marks, we can also implement all the boolean functions with the 4 variables. But in this question we have been given that we do not have any additional circuit or the additional logic gate. So in that case, we cannot implement all the boolean functions with the 4 variables. So suppose if we have the inverter, then with the help of it, we can also generate the complement of the variable. So if the inverter is available, then in that case, the first three variables of the function can be given to the selection line and the last variable and its complement can be connected to the data line. And in this way, we can implement any function with the four variables. So this example we have already covered in the earlier video of the multiplexer. So as you can see, here the input D or its complement is connected to the data line and using that we can implement the given function. But in this case, to generate the complement, we require the inverter. But if the inverter is not available, then the inputs we can apply to the data lines are either 1, 0 or the D. So in that case, we cannot implement all the boolean functions with the four variables. But of course, we can implement the sum of the boolean functions. For example, if we apply the D input to the all the data lines, then in that case, the output function will contain the odd min terms. That means it will contain the min term M1, M3, M5, M7 and so on. So as you can see, for the input combination of 0, 0, 0, the function F follows the D. That means for all the input combinations of the ABC, the function F is equal to D. And therefore, here the D input is connected to the each data line. So in this case, if we see the output function, then it is the summation of odd mean terms. Similarly, in this case also if you see, then the input to the data lines are either 1, 0 or the D. So this circuit also represents the boolean function with the 4 variable. So in this case, for the input combination of 0, 0, 0, the function f follows the D. That means the D0 is connected to the D. Likewise, for the 0, 0, 1, the function f is equal to 1 
that means the d1 is connected to the 1 likewise in the third case this f is equal to d while in the fourth case this f is equal to 0 and likewise in the remaining four cases these are the values of the function and this is the function which is represented by the given circuit so as you can see even if the complement of the d is not available then also we can implement the sum of the boolean functions with the four variables so from this we can say that without any additional circuit using this 8 to 1 marks we can implement all the functions with the three variables but we cannot implement all the functions with the four variables and therefore for the given question this c is the correct answer